Hey guys, Sean Barter here again at Sea Gear Studios, getting ready to show you another uh, knot slash splice. Um, this is uh, called a back splice. Now, say um, you want to make your end of your rip a little pretty, give yourself a little handle. It's a good reason to have it. Say you, you don't have any way to whip a rope. It's a good way to do before you do that. Um, I like uh, there's a lot of boat fenders that have the hole down the center on my boat instead of a, a knot at the end of each line. Um, we do a back splice and it makes it a lot, lot nicer. Plus, give you something to grab it by. But either way, this is a, this is a back splice. So it starts off with a knot. Now this knot is called a crown knot. So I've done, I've roped off with some uh, rigging floss our three strands. I've taped the end, so everything's ready to go for what we would regularly do a splice. Now for a crown knot, a couple different ways to do it. But uh, the way I find it easy, I like to put my fingers kind of between every strand. And I take the middle strand. Throw it over my finger. I take the side strand. I wrap it around. And there's one more here. Now it's got a path of here and there. So if you keep your hand still, it seems to work every time. Then you just kind of snug it up. And now they call it a crown knot because it looks like one of those old British crowns once you get it in there. There's Funny looking crowns like the, the velvet on top. And yeah, there you go, there's your crown. Now, from here on, we can do our splice. So like any splice, start with uh, what you want to call your center and go to the closest one. And we're just gonna go under that. And move on to your left. Next one, closest one, under that. And you're always going against the lay of the rope. So, your strands are always going to be going to the left because the lay is going to the right. So that is our first tuck. And then we give it a little snug. You don't want anything loose. You want everything as tight as it can be. And then we can continue with our splice. So from here on out, just over under. Two, three, four times until the splice is done. Now at the end, you can taper it. You don't have to. Um, actually, it's your choice, whatever you want to do here. So, in and out, over, under, over the one, under the next. Always going against the leg. Over, under, over, under. We say that a lot around here. Okay. And you would just continue that on out. So you can see it makes kind of like a handle. Now, it pretties it up a little bit. You know, if it looks a little lumpy, take it in your hands, smooth it around, roll it, roll it. There we go. Makes it nice and pretty. So there we have it, crown knot to the back splice. Nice way to finish off the end of your rope or do something on your board. Uh, once again, Sea Gear Marine, splicing video number 502, whatever it is. Uh, thanks for watching, seagearmarine.com. You guys have a great day.